All right. Thank you all. So uh, I'm even shorter than usual because I tore my ACL uh, skiing, but I didn't want to tell Carrie because I was afraid she wouldn't let me do this. So huh, I am so honored to be here today on behalf of all the members of the Sound Girls organization to be introducing the one and only, the amazing Carrie Keys. Okay. Um, First, let me dispel any reason that the reason a lawyer is up here is because Carrie needs a lawyer. That is not true. I'm up here because I've been in the industry for a long time. Carrie is someone so many of us have gotten to know and appreciate. When it, I am the fan behind the word fanatical when it comes to my admiration for Carrie. In an industry where people can easily burn out by being on the road and where few women have gone before, Carrie continues not only to survive, but also to thrive in an extraordinary way. And she leads the way for women in pro audio and sound engineers generally. Uh, today, Carrie actually began her career a little bit before WIM. Uh, this is the 30-plus anniversary of Carrie being a true pioneer in live sound and for women in our pro audio industry generally. The most fun about tonight, because I know what Carrie is thinking right now, is that we get to shine the spotlight on someone tonight who is all about supporting others and staying behind the scenes. There are so many highlights of Carrie's career, but I promise to be succinct. She spent many years alongside Dave Ratt, working for and managing Ratt Sound, one of the leading live sound companies. She's been the monitor engineer for Pearl Jam and Eddie Vedder for over 25 years. She's worked with Neil Young, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and so many others. Uh, for those of you who don't know the scope of what a monitor engineer does, We've had some controversy in how I should describe it. So let's just say she's the person who's normally over there in the hot seat, helping the band and the concert to go just flawlessly well. So, um, okay, I can give you all a longer explanation later. Okay, so we asked people, uh, members of Pearl Jam, to please say a few words about Carrie. Uh, Jeff Ament. Amen. Sorry. Uh, Carrie is always the steady calm of the storm that is the variable and always unpredictable rock show. Don't know where we'd be without her cleaning up our noise. And uh, Stone Gossard, who's the rhythm and co-lead guitarist for Pearl Jam, also asked to sh us to share this tonight. Carrie, on behalf of myself and all of Pearl Jam, we send our most heartfelt congratulations to you for winning this cool award. We love you, thank you for sticking with us, believing in us, and giving us fantastic stage sound. Um, uh, she's respected not only by uh, the bands she supports, she's also so well respected by fellow uh, monitor engineers. I love this, especially in light of what a lot of people are doing tomorrow in terms of marching. Carrie has broken the glass fader, said Greg Looper, fellow monitor engineer for Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, when asked about Carrie. By any standard, man or woman, her longevity and respect in the industry is unparalleled. You can also tell the greatness of Carrie by the impact she's had on giving back to others. As I mentioned, she's a co-founder of Sound Girls, an organization which numbers 2,600 right now, uh, and it's designed to inspire and empower women in sound engineering and, and pro audio. Uh, I just, I think many people are here, and I ask you when Carrie comes up to stand up and guide her, please, uh, and support her. So, okay, really quickly, uh, as Z Nolan, one of the many women Carrie has mentored through Sound Girls has said, Sound Girls has made dreams come true for many women across the world. In an industry dominated by men, she has given girls, women, and even men confidence to pursue careers in audio. I, am, I wouldn't be where I am today if, I weren't, if it weren't for Carrie's encouragement, 
guidance, and support. Carrie has done all of this in the midst of being a road warrior, co-founder of Sound Girls, while raising two remarkable twin daughters, Sammy and Maddie. Um, all right, uh, we coined a phrase last night, there was a mentoring session for Sound Girls, we call it the Carrie Effect, because, capital K, she carries so many of that, so many of us, all the time. With great honor and on behalf of the fabulous She Rocks organization, we proudly present this so-called Mad Skills Award for everything she's done and for producing the Carrie effect that inspires so many of us. Carrie, please come on up. This is very overwhelming for someone that works backstage. Um, and I was happy to hear Shirley was as nervous as I am. I, um, first of all, I'd like to thank the Women's International Music Network, She Rocks Awards, and Leah, Laura B. Whitmore, not for honoring me with this award, but for the important work, the important and hard work that they do every day. Um, shining spotlights on all these amazing women that work extremely hard in this industry. Um, when we decided to start Sound Girls, that was our founding vision, was to spotlight and highlight uh, women that are working in audio. You cannot be what you can't see. Now, when young girls want to go into music production or sound engineering, they will have mentors and role models with a female face on it. <laughs> Back in, I think it was 1990, the first tour I ever did was a Danzig Soundgarden Corrosion of Conformity tour. <laughs> About 10 days before the tour was to leave, some bands management called, voicing their concern of having a woman on the road. They were concerned that I would cause drama. Well, I got the tour, I went, I was the only crew member that did not cause drama on the tour. <laughs> Touring with men all my life, and I love them, I love all my road family. I know that men can cause drama. <laughs> it's time for us to flip the stereotype of drama, because the truth is women work harder, smarter, and tougher, because we have to. I am so thrilled to see this room full of amazing, talented women. Um, seeing all these, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm thrilled that this room is full of talented women and it's that we're starting to make noise in this industry. Not drama, but noise. There's so many amazing women-led organizations right now doing really important work from Women's International Music Network, the Women's Audio Mission, Tom Tom Magazine, She Shreds, Camp Real Stories, Beats by Girls, uh, Girls Rock Camp. The list goes on and on, and it's amazing to see. 30 years ago when I started, the first NAM I ever came to, and it felt like I was the only woman here, I couldn't imagine being in a ballroom with this many amazing, talented women. So, this award isn't for me, it's for all of us that work every day, and it's to highlight and 
celebrate our successes. And there's some sound girls over there, I can tell. <laughs> I want to thank all of them for making our community such a positive, empowering, and safe space for women. Okay. Thank you.